Hey guys, I want to show you some footage I got yesterday of some great white shark activity off the California coast. My friend Harry with Reef Guardians invited me out yesterday and we did get to launch the Inspire 2. We got some really high resolution frames of the sharks and got to observe them for a couple hours. We did see a breach, but we did not catch that with the drone, which is our goal. Uh, and uh, it was interesting, we did see a swimmer out there as well. Now sharks are very curious. Uh, this particular shark that was in the vicinity of the swimmer did not really approach the swimmer. I'd say it was uh, around two to 300 yards away from the swimmer at the closest. But um, it does raise your heart rate a little bit when you see that, uh, but there was no harm made. So let's take a look at the footage. So almost immediately we find this bait ball out there, actually two of them. And what that is, is essentially two large schools of fish. And you can see those two dark figures there. Uh, and as I got close, you could see the shiny sides of the fish. Uh, it was pretty cool to see. Now, Harry at this point lets me know that he's on top of a great white shark. He's flying 10 feet above a great white shark. So I hurry back and I don't see his drone anywhere. That's when I realize he's on a different shark. And that's not rare. There's been quite a few sharks here lately, so he was actually flying on a different shark. Um, so we coordinate, we find each other, and he's on this other shark. This is a seven foot juvenile, and, and this is actually a Phantom 4 Pro uh, drone. Um, and what Harry's doing here is he's just getting some high resolution footage uh, right above the shark. It's just beautiful light. And uh, he's taking photos to identify the shark and it really is a nice sighting of a great white shark. Now a little shortly after that we saw another shark. Um, we saw a total of three sharks today. Now this one was a little closer to shore. This is a couple boogie boarders. Uh, at no point did the shark come uh, very close to the boogie boarders. They're just out there uh, curious uh, but uh, again it was never a threatening situation. So I got a little side shot here, a little profile, so you can see how close to shore these sharks are getting. Uh, I don't believe the surfers could actually see this shark, but it is not uncommon to uh, see a fin from the shore as you walk the beach. Now here, Harry lets me know that there's a swimmer in the water, and so I hurry up over there, I spot the swimmer, and I, I just kind of pan out and I'm looking around, seeing if I see any dark uh, figures it could be a great white shark in the distance uh, so I start moving down the beach a little bit and not more than a quarter mile away uh, I spot a dark figure there right in the center and uh, there it is right there uh, so I zoom down to it uh, bring the drone a little closer and I coordinate with Harry and he brings over the Inspire 2 and we document this shark he photographs it and identifies it it is a shark that we have seen earlier in the week uh, it meant no harm. It's well far from the swimmer and uh, really it's just there catching some evening sun and um, here's footage of the Inspire 2. Uh, Harry is piloting this and that's a state-of-the-art drone. He's actually taking pictures of it and uh, capturing some really cinematic high quality footage with that drone. So that was yesterday's footage. Uh, I'm gonna be going out periodically to capture some more uh, sea life footage with the drone. I wanna thank reefguardians.org. Uh, they have invited me several times to go observe uh, not only great white sharks, but uh, other uh, species of animals that are along the California coastline, uh, which they are trying to protect and educate. Uh, individuals with. Again, that's reefguardians.org. Check them out, and I will see you next time.